Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my picks for the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. You will get 20% off if you are VIB Rouge from the dates of November 6th through November 9th. So let's get into my picks um, of what I would choose during the VIB sale. So I'm going to share with you a few things that I have tried and tested and that I continue to repurchase. They're pretty much staples in my um, collection. So in the end, I'll share with you what's in my cart that I'm going to be purchasing. Um, I think a lot of them I haven't tried before, so I'm going to share with you now the ones that I would pick um, for you guys that I have already tried and love. So I'm going to start out with face products first. The first thing is a primer, and I love this primer. It is the Cover FX. It's the um, anti-aging primer, so it has the yellow strip at the bottom here. This is just a really, really nice primer. It is clear, so there's you can't see it when it goes on, um, but it doesn't have that super silicone feel that a lot of primers have, and it does have anti-aging properties, so it's going to really help um, fill in those lines and the pores and all of that, and it's just a really, really great primer to have in your kit, um, and I think everyone should try it. For the next thing is a foundation, and you probably already know what it is. I wear it almost every single day. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Now I'm in shade 127. It's what I have on today. And I pair this with my MAC Studio Fix powder and it works really well. It gives me the most flawless coverage ever. Um, and I just really love it. And it's great for camera, taking pictures and things like that. So if you haven't tried this yet um, and you were kind of iffy about it, go ahead and give it a try. And um, if you have tried it and you need another, go ahead and pick another up because I love this foundation so much. It is an all-time favorite, probably my top favorite foundation ever of all time. For a concealer, this is probably... Close to my NARS concealer, I'll link that down below too, but this is probably my second favorite concealer for days that I really have very dark circles underneath my eyes. It's the Makeup Forever Full Coverage. Um, it's a Extreme Camouflage Cream, and this is a thick concealer, and I'm in the shade 7, so I'll kind of swatch it for you so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's just a really, really nice concealer. It does not crease on me. And if you can see that right there, it's just really great coverage without looking cakey. So you're not going to look cakey when you put this underneath your eyes. Um, I know a few of you have gotten this per my recommendation and you love it. So that is the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. And this is the one that Jesse James Decker um, told us about and I got it and I've used it ever since and I absolutely love it love it. To set that concealer, I use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is a great, great setting powder. Um, it's just, it's a white powder like that, but it is like a translucent, so it's not going to look white when you put it underneath your eyes. And you can set your whole face with this, but I don't. I just use it under my eyes to really brighten and give me that wide-eyed, um, awake look. So I really love this powder. Um, it does come, I think, in a travel size it may come in a travel size, I'm not for sure. If it does, I'll link it down below. But it is um, Secret Brightening Powder in one. So I think this is really the only shade. And their translucent powder is really, really good. So all of Laura Mercier's powders are fantastic. I have two bronzers that I wanted to share with you guys. One is a little more high-end and one is more affordable. So this is my Bobbi Brown. Um, it's in Golden Light. This is one of my most favorite bronzers. All of Bobbi Brown's bronzers are wonderful. I have Bali, um, or like Bali Brown, I think it's what it's called. And then I have this one for when I'm a little bit um, lighter, so like the fall and winter time. I absolutely love this bronzer. Um, and it's, it's fairly, let me see if I can get a swatch for you guys. It's probably the same color as my skin right now. So this is not terribly warm when you put it on. So it's not gonna give you that super tanned effect. It's just gonna really be a nice contour to bronze up the face. I hope you can see that. Um, but I love this bronzer. It's super creamy, feels so great on the skin, and you can um, 
you cannot like overdo it with this. So that's what I love about the Bobbi Brown bronzers is that you can't really overdo it. So Golden Light from Bobbi Brown is a great option to put in your cart. And then for the more affordable bronzer that I love for fall, it is a great bronzer. Um, it's the Sephora Fiji. So this has a little bit of a sheen to it, but I've worn it in past videos and it doesn't really show up as a sheen on camera. So maybe it's just a little bit of a glow, but this is just, again, a gorgeous, this is more of a neutral tone bronzer. So barely, barely warm. Um, it's great for contour. It's a little less warm than the Bobbi Brown. So that's it right there. If you can see that, it's probably close to my <laughs> tan skin right there. But this is a wonderful bronzer. I think it's gonna run you like $17 versus like 30 or 40. So this is a great bronzer to try um, and also to get that 20% off. You cannot beat that. So all of these things, I will probably pick up another one of these and another Makeup Forever concealer and another Makeup Forever Ultra HD along with whatever else is in my cart. This does have a little bit of a, like a really, um, like a different scent. It smells, smells kind of sweet. So I really love this bronzer. It's a great one. Now for brows, I have one brow product that I cannot live without and is the NARS Caucus Brow Pencil. Um, this is the perfect ash tone shade for blondes like me, or even if you have a light brown tone to your hair. Um, I have fairly dark brows, but I love this pencil because it is ashy. So um, again, a lot of you have gotten this and love it, and is this one's out, this is empty, but it is an angle tip, and it just gets your brows perfectly, effortlessly. It does not budge throughout the day, and you can set it with a gel, but I don't. I just wear this alone, and that's all I do my brows with, and I love it so much, and I rarely hear anyone talk about NARS brow products, and they're really, really good. So give this a try. It's in the shade Caucus, um, and absolutely love it. Now for a few lip products, I'm gonna share with you a lip liner that I love so much. So I love the Makeup Forever lip liners. They're probably um, close to my favorite. This is probably my favorite brand of lip liners and then the Makeup Forever. So um, in Makeup Forever, I love the 3C. So that's a great one to put in your cart and they're really inexpensive. I think they're like $19. So with the 20% off, that's going to give you a really great deal. And I may pick up a few more of those too. Um, but this is the Marc Jacobs lip liner. And these are a little bit more expensive. And this is the shade Nudist. This is my favorite one that I have. And it's just a twist up like that, but these will not budge. These will not go anywhere all day long. You can put these on in the morning. They're still on when you're leaving work, um, unless you're like crazy, like, you know, messing with your mouth or whatever. But these are wonderful lip liners. Absolutely love it. I'll try to get you a good swatch here. This is the perfect nude shade your lips but better this is it right here so that is it right there nudist mark jacobs lip pencil i absolutely love it it goes with virtually every lipstick that i have i can overline my lips with that and not look crazy so i love that and then another Marc Jacobs product is the Marc Jacobs, I think they're called the um, Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquers. And I have the shade Pretty Thing. So I am going to pick up another gloss, but these glosses, they're probably the best that are on the market other than, other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses. I'll try to get you a swatch of this. Let's see. It's, this is just a really pretty peachy pink color. And it goes great with all my nude lipsticks. Um, so that's it right there. But I absolutely love these glosses. They have a slight peppermint scent. Um, and I like that, but it's not overpowering. So it's not really going to bother you if you're sensitive to smell. But these um, lip, lip lacquers from Marc Jacobs are absolutely wonderful. They have such a variety of shades and you don't even need a lipstick with these, um, but I love to pair this, um, this one pretty thing over my nude lipsticks. So for a brush that I get at Sephora, it is the 55 um, brush and this is just a dual powder brush. I use it for blush today 
and this is just a great brush to have in your collection. It's super soft, it's got a lot of flexibility, so it's going to give you a nice sweep of powder across your face um, and not have to get too much on there so you can really buff out um, whatever you're putting on your face. And this is the travel size, so the 55.5, I think it's like maybe $14, I'm not for sure, um, but I'll link it down below. This is a travel size and I love it. I love this brush so much. You can see it's just super fluffy. You can see that right there. It's so pretty. It's such a nice brush. So four brushes, they've really stepped up their game, and this is one that I can't be without in my collection. I absolutely love it. I use it every day. It's a great brush. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to kind of go through my makeup kit here and see what I have that's from Sephora. Now, this is my everyday makeup, so I'm going to pull out the things that I get from Sephora. Uh, and then you can see here, this is the stuff that I use literally every single day. So um, I have my beauty blender that I just used here. Everyone needs a beauty blender. Every single person needs a beauty blender. So if you do not have one, pick one up. When you get it, use it damp um, and you will forever thank me. It is the best tool that you could possibly have in your makeup kit. I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it on today. I love this concealer. I'm in the shade Custard. Um, you guys probably already have this concealer in your collection, but if you don't, please pick it up. They just came out with a travel size, so you can try it. I think it's like $12, um, so you can you don't have to invest you know, the full amount. You can just get the travel size and try it out, but this is the best concealer. I love it so, so much. Then I have my Gimme Brow um, from Benefit. I love this stuff for days that I don't feel like filling in my brows. I just kind of sweep it through and it gives me just a little bit of um, color to my brows and it sets them really nicely. One more Marc Jacobs lip glosses and this is, let's see what this is, um, Lust for Lacquer 304 Over Protected. So this is a really pretty pink shade. These are a little bit stickier, is that the word? They're a little more sticky than the um, lip lacquers that I showed you, but um, I really love this shade. It's like a bubblegum pink and it's really pretty. If you want to see the rest of what's in my everyday makeup kit, then just leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to film that for you guys. So now let's go through what's in my cart that I have not used before that I'm going to be trying out. So I'm going to go to uh, Sephora.com and I think I only have like 10 things in my cart not a ton of stuff um, but there were a few things I was really excited about that I wanted to try okay so I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly um, I have the bite beauty best bite reward it's four of their um, like lip crayons I have the Becca shimmering skin perfector pressed the champagne glow palette so it has it's limited edition and it has champagne pop, pearl, and then another shade in it called blush copper. So it's really, really pretty. I have the NARS Stephen Klein collaboration, um, the lipsticks. So there's one, two, three, four, five lipsticks, and there's five mini lipsticks from NARS. I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in there in the travel size to keep in my everyday makeup kit. So for like traveling and things. And then I have a beauty blender. Um, you get two beauty blenders, a mini beauty blender, and a mini cleanser, all for $40 plus the 20% off. So that is a great, great deal. And then for a foundation that I wanted to try, I have the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation, um, and I'm going to get the shade N30. So I'm not sure if that's the correct shade for me, but if it's not, I'll just return it and switch it out for the right shade. But I'm really excited to try that foundation. Um, Jaclyn Hill used that in her updated um, foundation routine, and it's gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. I have a NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Barcelona. I'm really excited to get that. I haven't had that. Um, and then a five-piece Petite Le Marc Lip Cream Collection. Um, it's called the Sophia. So you get five of the Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I'm really excited to get that. I love Marc Jacobs lipsticks. All their lip products are amazing. I have never been um, not happy. I've never been upset with anything that I've got from Marc Jacobs. And then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Luminous Flush. So it's a really pretty um, peachy pink colored blush. So I'm excited to try that. And then I have a Tory Burch Mini Duo. So two of her perfumes. And I'm a sucker for the bottles that they come in. So 
that's all that I have in my cart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to see what everyone else gets um, for the VIB Rouge sale. I know I was kind of talking fast in this video, but I didn't want it to be too long. So I will list all of the products down below. So if you missed one, um, you can just click on that link and it'll be right there for you to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon. And be sure to check out my blog and my Instagram. Um, it's arielsnyder.com and then just search Ariel Snyder and you'll see me on Instagram. Lots of fun stuff over there. I'm going to be doing holiday giveaways, so be sure to follow me um, on my Instagram so you can be a part of those giveaways and maybe win something fun for yourself. So I'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.